We've got to let the beat drop a little, and we've got to bring the ruckus. We've got to bring the noise, and we're going to be doing it on Dust 2, the third and final map of this series. Can Forrest or can Krims, can they put up those excellent performances we know they're capable of doing, or will this one slide right out of Dignitas' hands? They're so close to the finish line, and here we are on the pistol round. Yeah, Fnatic on the CT side start, Harry. So you get your dream, you get what you wanted. Dig now getting to direct the pace of this matchup at least to begin. I'm sure there's many, many overtimes in the future where we can see even more of this madness, but let's at least get through regulation before we do so. Fast cat play. Freiburg is up and about, and Crims is going to get pushed towards the spawn. Oh dear, nice shot on the Freiburg cross. Goes back to Long, and he's got JW alongside him as well. Get right is late lurking this position, but right now his entire team have fallen like flies. The bomb plant may be allowed for the catwalk, but Fnatic, they have an inkling, and Crims also take the fight to him. They won't expect a second player, you would think, and JW trades it all well and good for Fnatic. The flashbang sets him up towards Catball. And there's a double flash that exists, does burst someone with. How's it trading? And things are getting messy, but Fnatic will secure that pistol round. Woo. Quite the start to this game, though. I'm already excited. Is JW going just to BM? Yeah, I thought that was the case. <laughs> He got off the defuse, and it's like Flush has a kit, so they could do it, right? And it makes sense in that in that POV, but that is just for JW. Oh, to go and be um, Halzerk. I love it. Let's keep this heat turned up. Halzerk versus JW. Who knew that that would be the rivalry that yeah. we get today? Surprise. I absolutely love it. JW is like, you're not a Swede. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, get him yeah, out. I guess. Yeah, those ragdolls can be different, but it looked like he was shooting with his hand in the, uh, well, server. The replay shows otherwise. Body on the ground, face in the floor. Message there regardless. Yeah, I think they worked it out. I think they knew what he was trying to convey with the bullet shots, yeah, but... Why, uh, why is this guy just shooting the ground <laughs> way over there? Uh, anyway, the message is clear. Fnatic and Dig, this one I don't think would be getting too personal, but it's definitely heating up. The buffer is running out. A little bit of the scrappiness from Dig. They're going to have some weapons go right out of mid doors. No one has spotted them yet. In fact, no one's even really aware that that's a possibility. Golden now has realized that error. He's going to drop a Molotov. He knows that they could be out. They're going to wow. run out and pretty much Zerg rush Golden right into oblivion. Broly alone and SMG is not the fight you want to take towards middle versus those AKs. He will get a quick work of an example. And only one kill coming through for Fnatic in this round. They're still getting lurked on Cat as well. Get right can come in late and really be a problem for Fnatic if they want to look at this retake. And the fact they're hanging around so long surprises me. But they know that this is a force for Dig. They know they shouldn't have a lot to play with. No armor on Get Right. How's it going to scout? It's worth peering into, poking and prodding. JW does both, and he will find Halzerk in the site. Knows there's a player at the back as well. Get right on this late drop. It's being held. Flusher is very aware, and he's found himself a two-on-two -two with the time ticking out of the hands of Fnatic. Kills need to come through, and JW almost has them all. Freiburg trading, and I think he's won the round just by staying alive. Three to his name. He knows Flusher's off it, and he can try and chase the kill as oh, well. Man. One HP the difference. Even if Flusher doesn't die to the bomb, which he will, it's going to be around for Dig regardless. Great work from Freiburg. And I think, uh, yeah, J uh, was it Flusher running away? Thinks, uh, thinks that Freiburg's hanging around. That's not the case. Yeah, he knows he was dead to bomb anyway, right? So I think he just wanted to try and get that one kill on to old mate Freiburg. And obviously Freiburg has gotten the hell out of there. Didn't want to hang around when that bomb was exploding. And we learn why. Flusher falls in amongst the explosion. And that there has left Fnatic in with a four spy here as these four spy wars start on dust two. We wanted a close third map and we are delivering just three rounds into play. And I would have to say that's probably ultimately due to most of the chat spamming a bass to help Dignitas or something like that anyway. Flusher, though, he has nothing to say about these coffee pastas. He wants nothing to do with any of it. He's going to be holding the line, but Exist has such a tighter angle. That's going to be two big kills for him. Krem's trying to hold on to the control of this B site, but it's gone. They have no vision there anymore. And just JW with a deagle. 1v2 against Get Right and Forrest. The bomb is down, and it's not down far from him. His play there is to go through the smoke, and, well, that proves to be a fatal one. Yeah, Good decision for Dignitas there, right? They just stop in their tracks. They know the bomb's been dropped. They know he's likely going to make a hero play in the one-on-two, and they just hold the smoke. Yeah, offers himself up to them. 
Yeah, some big dig energy here. Yeah, that's what you like, the BDE in this case. Yeah. Yeah, Fnatic Eco though. Just a smoke for the cross, but nothing really going behind it. They're heavy towards the A site instead. So Exist taking a spawn with the Mac 10 and they're actually not going to peer the corner. They're going to wait for contact. They'll get it. Exist sees one on the car. A little more than he bargained for on this A site. And Dink's through the wall. Finally, one will do damage. Freiburg takes the kill. But Dig actually didn't spot all those players. They know there's more. And get right, going to start to clean house. Oh, oh, no, oh dear. Oh, dear. Luckily enough, Freiburg is here to help. Mm, mop this up, I was no. going to say. <laughs> sure. But... Oh no, it's gotten messy. Freiburg is still hanging around. Brolin's retrieved an AK though. This was a full USP round from Fnatic and we're into a two on two. Forest and Exist, they don't want to get embarrassed like this. They smoke off mid and Forrest posts himself up in the window. About to come through, this is Flusher. Forrest hopping on down, gives Flusher a bit of a timing now where he can try and get out into this middle area. He's waiting for Brolin to do a lap and come and join him. Secure a foothold in mid, because I don't want to risk just losing a man to the push. There's still very much a chance for Fnatic here. Well, that's not ideal oh. now, is it? Well, ah. Richard's going to get burnt out of the back of the site, and that's going to leave him to reposition himself. That, that there is devastating. Luckily enough, Exist gets a kill from this position. But yeah, this isn't where he wanted to be. And shout out to Forrest for oh. making this round. Fnatic's defuse comes in. And Brolin delivering four kills, Good two of grief. which with a USP in a full eco round from Fnatic. They find a second, and they put it on the board. Forrest... He mustn't like exist that much. <laughs> mollied, him, <laughs> mollied him out of position. I hope that's yeah. something Digger laughing about. That's the thing. They're a pretty cheery group of guys. But still, like, this isn't the round you want to be giving over. No. You know, like, no matter how much you try and laugh that off, oh, that is devastating that that's how it falls apart. You lost to a $300 investment at the end of the day, and that was that smoke on the mid cross. So. Fnatic, wow, what a round. Not one you can uh, bank on, but they will certainly take it. And JW's taken a man out of middle. We quickly responded, though. How's Zerk? No more shots of the bodies this time, but it will be an early trade to put things in a four on four. And with the less players alive for Dig, the more those guns can spread over. So at least we have th three rifles in play, armed and dangerous. How's Zerk waiting for the repeat? And he might just get it. Oh my, Golden a little bit wiser there. So far, Get Right trying to lead the charge out here on the catwalk, but flush up, well, he's not gonna just give it up without at least taking down Exist. This turned into a 2v3, Golden very, very low. 22 HP, he does have the kit, Brolin's gonna be there trying to look at the site from CT spawn. This smoke on catwalk, they are well entrenched. Ooh. Taps are not going the way either one of them want to. So they're going to back out. This looks like a round for Dignitas. Yeah, Brolin needs to be careful with the bomb here. I mean, he's looking for cross players, and he will get get right, but there's going to be more where that came from. His legs shown. He can't see a player here, but he will go wide oh. and get the job done. Nice shots from Brolin. He's definitely dead to the bomb on this health, so he needs to run. Oh, he dodges the orb. Brolin, get out of there, buddy. It's going to be around regardless for Dig. And the AK does get saved. So that's decent for Fnatic. They get out with guns alive, but they do lose the round. And that's not what they had in mind. How's that? was a big trading as well into JW early on. Not letting that orb get off to a good start. And get right again. Just crucial double entry into the site as well. Continuing his performance across this yeah. entire it, series. That, that almost felt like a kind of like long range bait and switch from Dig, right? They have the AK firing down mid, and that leaves JW feeling confident enough to take the peak. And when he deals with the first guy, he sees a bunch more players down towards suicide. So he thinks, well, they're dueling me with AKs. I can take this fight. And as he peeks out, that's when Halzerk deals with him. So kind of a cool little idea, but this round has not gotten off to a swimming start here for dig they've lost three players in the blink of an eye the bomb is a part of that and it's only forest left 1v5 required a minute and 30 on the clock 
And likely he's already turning towards saving this orb. But the problem is, is that Fnatic are going to be all over you. They are already back oh here in T spawn. God, look at Flasher. Who Knife? is going to check for Flasher? Knife? No one's going to check for Flasher. Surely, right? This isn't a position you're ready for. And this could be a knife, knife. in the third map this of the series. Knife. Come this on. This is a knife. 100%. He's ducking underneath Do it. the Flasher. Oh, no. Forest. Forest, turn around. He's behind you. Oh. Oh no, Flusher gets it. And we knew it was coming. It was only a matter of when, not so much if. And there it is. Yeah. Pulls out his katana, slices and dices him. Flusher studies the blade, okay? While you were out there, you know, retiring, he was he was studying the blade. And for good reason. That's a big round for Fnatic. No orb saved here for Dig and get right on a hero AK in a force by round, just looking to hit that B bomb site nice and quickly. Fnatic throwing a Molotov. It could make Dig go for a contact play late. They don't have the utility to smoke this off. One smoke. Oh, wow, they oh, go for it. I was going to say, it. they might rather save that for the door, but they'll just go fast into the site. Brolin is waiting, and Golden's gone. Ooh. Get right with the kills to make things happen, and Dig are in B. This could be their round on Eco, because we know it. We've said it. Dust 2, very hard to retake that B site. Damn near impossible in some instances. Man, this series is great. Like, this series is stellar. This is a, uh, a force buy from Dig, where they only really have pistols and a rifle on Get Right to try and get the job done, and they might manage it. Fnatic looking to come in for this retake. The mollies, they hope, can burn players out, and it does burn Halzerk down to the grave, three on three. As this retake tries to kick up a notch, and out from the window, it's Flusher Ooh. dealing with one. Get Right still alive! No. And how's he managed that? Four kills in the round for Get Right, and Dig put a fourth on the board on the back of it. We are well and truly in the time vortex now. Dig <laughs> sit in the lead, 4-3 up with a stellar clutch from Get Right. JW, man, he comes through the door here. Gerai just, uh, after this, Gerai turns around. He should be dead. He's getting dinked. You can see the blood on the wall. And JW, I don't know what happens, but he puts him down to sub 10 HP and doesn't finish the job. Maybe he ran out of ammo. Maybe with the shots. But whatever it was, it was a great spray from Get Right. An excellent conversion as they get rid of more pistols. Yeah, absolutely the best time for you to tell everybody you know. Go ahead and open your Steam friends. Go ahead and get on Discord. Tell them all about what you're watching here. Fnatic and Dig, this is a special matchup. And even on the outset of that, we're going to have Astralis Vitality coming up next in a best of three, which is certainly something you could set in for the long haul for as well. Here in the CSL1 Road to Rio, the group stages will carry on. 25-22 in the second map, 19-17 in train. I'd say we're on the path to something repeated here in the map of Dust 2. Yeah, maybe a quad overtime trace. We've only had three in the previous map. That doesn't feel like enough, so... Mate, the longer, the, 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 the more we can get out of this series, the better. <laughs> and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Astralis Vitality, by the way, is going to get delayed heavily because of this game, which is, uh, is our next matchup, obviously. And by delayed heavily, I mean, it should start, you know, pretty much at the conclusion of this. Obviously, there's yeah. some formalities that have to be taken care of. That game was scheduled for 10 minutes ago, though. So that, that you know, shows you where we're at right now. It's true. This one really has been a barn burner and gone longer than any series we've done here so far. And I still want more. My hunger is yet to be satisfied. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? You think about the OTs, what, we've had four of them in total. Four times six is, what, 28? 24, 24, nailed 24. that one. Wait, what did you just say? I don't know, mate. He said 24. Yeah, I, I said 24 the yeah. whole time. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, that's basically a whole extra map. So this has been like a four map best of three, and I'm very, very happy about it. The more I get to see Get Right wrecking fools in the server, <laughs> the better. And, well, this round could be more of the same. It's another pistol investment from Fnatic. However, we've seen them do pretty well in the past. I thought it was Freiburg who got that kill. That's why I just paused for a moment. I was like, what? But yeah. no, it was <laughs> it was Get Right delivering right when we wanted him to over towards the long doors. He catches JW trying to aggress. In response to that, Dig just blindside this A site knowing they can get in. They've carved a bit of a path. And in this round, the pistols aren't going to find anything for Fnatic. It will be that fifth round, that coveted fifth round on the board for the Dig squad. Yeah, easy does it on the Antico. Not a single death. Forrest gets very close. He 
pokes his head through, but he will come out unscathed relatively. 5-3 to Dignitas with five alive in the previous, and that Mag-10 gets insta-upgraded or traded over. Exist if he takes that off spawn, he could hit the B-bomb site with his spawn. So we'll see what the decision is to be made here for Dig. You can put the AWP into Halzerk's hand, ah. forcing an elect to go towards B. Yeah, I mean, not using the Mac 10 for what I thought, but it is going down suicide very fast. So let's see how quickly Dignitas can get through these doors if that is their plan. Exist toying with the idea, but just spotting for Fnatic right now. Nothing to be seen, nothing to be heard. It's a very passive, safe round for Fnatic. They don't have the AWP, and so they're kind of just locking in, hoping for Dig to commit into the stack. Three on A side, one in the spawn, and one on B. Need to be boost as well coming through. So Brolin is in, or Golden is in very good dis uh, position, thanks to Crims. And this looks like it could end B, right? It's a standard default with Dig taking Cat, but once they throw that cross smoke on the A site, that's when you decide, like, you, you can go back to lower, you can drop into mid, but right now with a man out long as well, seems like Dig want to take this A site. Out. These smokes go down to try and allow the cross from Catwalk. And this is where we're going to see Get Right and Forest now start to pick up the pace over at Long. Exist dives to his demise over here in CT. And oh no, Get Right hasn't checked for JW. Oh dear. There's a kill. And there is still Forest floating around towards the long side. He can come in and deal with JW. So they do get revenge for the man down in the pit. But a three on three retake. Not impossible for the Fnatic squad. Setting up over towards Catwalk, all three players here. Molotov on Forest could stand to make things very difficult. And that's even if you can get past Halzerg, which apparently Fnatic cannot. Golden now alone offers himself up as well. And it's Halzerg delivering three kills to put a sixth on the board for Dig. Stepping back into the shoes from Overpass. He's looking to bring the heat here now with that AWP in hand. Yeah, again, Fnatic on Eco as well. Digger really sending it to them on this seaside. It's it's a great showing from uh, from all of them, really, and Halzak especially. The one Norwegian and a server of Swedes. Surrounded almost. Yeah. In every direction. Wow. Little grenade on long. Exist is going to go ahead of it, though. No fear as he takes down Brolin. And Dig, again, on this long position, can just commit to the A site up against Eco. This is a really safe way of playing around Hikos, the longest avenue in the map. I guess apart from middle, but this is very open as well. No doors in the way. Just got to worry about the car, and that's already been Molotov. So Dig have cleared out that close position, and they can begin whenever they want to move up. Right now, they're hoping to see a Fnatic go for anything with control still towards tunnels and lower. Forest is watching for any shenanigans. But there are the flashes on the long cross, and Dig can make their way to the site. Oh, get right, opening up. Halzerk helping out. It's still hidden over at Gandalf as JW, not but long. not for long. That Molotov forces him into the open. And it's only Golden left in the blink of an eye. He does dig down Forest, and that is now an AK that can be retrieved and held onto. And that's actually pretty important for Fnatic. They're going to duck out of here. It's going to allow this next buy to have all the utility they need. You're not going to see any players limited. You know, Flusher certainly could have fallen under that category, having a lot less money than the rest of the team in this round. But will he get away with the AK? I don't know. He's a very sneaky little fella here, isn't he? Oh. Not quite that sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see that. Even if they're looking at the ground, if you if you focus and you're above window, you can always see it. It's just about, you know, like, if you're not looking for it, you're not going to see it. So get right, very aware, very attentive to that position and not letting anyone get away with guns today. He was waiting for Gordon to stand back up anyway, just to guarantee the shot, solidify the kill and keep digging on the T side, looking good. Seven to three. When will Fnatic break this? It's been four in a row on the rifles. Two of the Mika rounds, of course. 
Halzak's taking his old B for a pick, but no one offering anything up right now. He might have to just go through this molly. Late. Smoke on it. Golden alone. It's a perfect round to rush B. No one's close. Fnatic have four on the A site right now. They didn't even have mid control. So the fact that Golden goes down without a kill to his name means this round, again, might be done in an instant. There's no kits for Fnatic, and they don't want to give away a glass cannon AWP in a retake such as this. Yeah, a volatile retake, right? We talked a little bit about retaking that B site and just how hard it can be. And in this instance, it's not even worth it. Fnatic try to hold on to the AWP, get right. Having a quick stroll around. He's going to run into a formidable foe of Brolin, drop his own rifle. So doesn't matter at the end of the day. Dignitas will pick up an eighth round. And so far, a good showing for him here on their T side. So something else that I think is pretty intriguing about this dig squad, right, is, is like you think, right? And when you think about legends of the game, these are probably the names that kind of spring to mind, you know? And I think when we saw them approaching the end of like the NIP project in the form where it was this squad, they'd kind of been stuck in like a bit of an echo chamber, you know? Like no one had really seen life outside of NIP. <laughs> and now upon returning to this dig squad, obviously you've got Get Right and Forest coming over from the, uh, the, the, the NIP squad most recently. So they did stay together, but obviously playing with a whole host of new teammates in there, having to get used to new new styles of Counter-Strike, adapting yeah. to the new meta. And then you look at, you know, the IGL of Exist. He, he moved around, he was on FaZe, he was on Fnatic, he was here, there and everywhere. So for every one of these guys, even though it felt like they'd kind of reach like their, their their peak they went out and they very much expanded their horizons yeah. you know you think about freiburg as well playing in heroic they've all done it they've all seen other sides of the coin and now they join back up together years later with all that knowledge all that experience gained from playing with other teammates and i feel like that's why we're seeing this dig squad looking so re-energized and so new in the server jw here over to watch short side does best forest on the entry, now gonna try and batten down the hatches. He holds down for the long haul as he gets off towards ramp. Crim's taken up his position inside of the site and JW nails Halzerk now. Freiburg has dropped down and he comes in, what? but he's saved, Whoa. bailed out by Golden. JW still alive, Exist hops on down and goes down as well. Get Right is dropped and Fnatic will put a fourth round on the board, keeping it damn near flawless in the process. What a legend Golden was in that round, right? I thought the big story was gonna be Crims. He swapped position with yeah. JW inside of the site, and that could have been awful for Dig if they didn't realize it, and why would they with the smokes down? But Golden covers the cross. JW's on ramp, about to die from the side, and then Golden just kills him from CT. Even follows up with three in the round. I'm sure we'll see them here and now. Uh, just really nice stuff from Golden, so. Yeah, that, that switch inside of the site, I was really hoping to see how that one played out, but it didn't quite matter. There we go, Hall Zerk, straight aggression out the mid doors. And he's gonna check face there towards Game Helper, car, whatever you wanna call it. But it's get right with the opening kill in the round, towards long. Yeah, it just kills everywhere. Forrest got one on B, get right on A. Wherever Fnatic look, they see corpses of their teammates and they've got a gamble. Leaning towards B right now. That's the idea here for Fnatic, and it might be the right one. Oh, big kill for Howl's Look. If JW gets that and crosses towards B without Fnatic real or without Dig realizing, they could have been triple stacked inside of the site. Flusher oh, baby. is an absolute <laughs> madman, and he's going to knife Howl's Look in the back as Dig set up for a B take. They're going to nice. bail. That's a good decision. They realize with a man in middle, there's often going to be a dude in the site as well, and Dig don't want to walk into the stack. That's two knives for Flusher now. Three Big in the yeah. series. Big are not being discreet about this rotation. So Golden and Flusher gonna try and get ahead of it. However, that's a pretty tall order. Flusher, let's see what he can bring to the table in this one. First kill on to get right found from Golden. Flusher gets cut down. Freiburg inside of the site solidifies that ninth on the board for Dig. It digs them out of the hole that Fnatic were looking to put them in. Reinvestment gonna come back through from Fnatic, but it's a bit of a troublesome time, thankfully. Daddy Flusher has plenty of pocket money for Brolin. He can drop a gun over. He's got a replay of the knife as well. And that's like, that's so ballsy from Flusher to go for that because, yeah. you know, there could have been more players sure. wait, waiting in mid. He could have just got shot in the back and not had any say in that round. But it's a nice little confidence booster. Speaking of confidence boosters, Halzerk has dealt with a man trying to cross the B. And now we likely just see a B oh play. And that my. looks to be the decision. Forrest no runs here. through the Molotov. Brolin tries to help out. 
but doesn't find anything. And this should just be the save. You don't even attempt this if you're Fnatic. If Dig don't give away a kill, boom. Nope. Then yeah, you don't even give this a look in. And, and you can see Fnatic trying to patch this problem, right? They're, they're adjusting setups and changing players around. That round is Broden and B, not Golden. And like, no matter what they do, these B rushes have been so good for Dignitas. Obviously, it helps the Hauser gets like crossed down, you know, down from, um, from spawn. But yeah, you can't rely on that. And Dig still go for the B rush. Really, really good stuff. Yeah. Ten rounds on this T side, and it feels like as you know, the more you bully Halzerk, the better he is. I'm thinking back to overpassing that OT. I'm thinking back to last round, getting knifed and then getting the cross shot. Like this dude, you know, relatively inexperienced at the top level, and he is looking so comfortable right now in this roster. Certainly, as it stands, one of Norway's finest. Now as a decider here, of course, we did kind of show you there a, a round or two back as to the next game that started over on the C stream phase in Movie Star Riders just getting underway. And after this matchup, Nip and Fnatic, or excuse me, Dig and Fnatic. <laughs> Damn it, I did it, didn't it's I? happened to all of us now. <laughs> well, I was going to say after that, it's a Strauss vitality, but all the wind's out of my sails now. So Also, I love Matt. We could get right on before this, and he was seeming really positive. Like, you know, seemed like yeah. he was he was feeling good, even though, like, he was being very honest with us about where Digger at. Man, he is showing up in the server. You Every know, back on overpass, he was the guy who kick-started it for Dig. And the same can be said even back on train here on Dust. He's leading the way by a huge margin. And this has been the case for Dig. Normally, Get Right is the guy to get the ball rolling. And then you've got the rest of the team picking it up, showing up to close out these rounds. Forrest, down here in mid, spots Brolin over in the window. And this isn't a fight to be won by Dig just yet. Looking like they want to try and ease into a mid to B play. And with no one holding CT, this is a potential vulnerability for Fnatic. Yeah, the old crunch. But Fnatic want double B, right? They don't want to weaken their A defense, but they also don't want to lose B because of one gunfight and then the round be over. So they've double set up inside of the site. Of course, yes, you say it, mid is open. But Fnatic should realize soon that this is going to be a B play, right? They've seen nothing anywhere else on the map. And JW can flank Catwalk aggressively if he wants to take risks. 40 seconds as Dig enter the site. Roland sprays, he gets one. If he doubles it, that's excellent work. He can afford to go down now, but he's not looking to do so. Just stalling inside of the site, letting contact be made by his teammate. And Flusher finds another double as well. One by one, Dignitas fall in this round. It's all on Freiburg for the 11 rounds in the half. That's what he's looking for, but it might not be realistic. Oh, he's given up his position. He heard the footsteps back in CT and Freiburg is looking more antsy than ever. Flash to try and get him in. He spots Brolin and Brolin deals with him. Five on the board for Fnatic, but Dig still on double digits here. 10 to five in our third and final map. Dig leading the way. Can Fnatic pull it back? Or will Dig be causing a bit of an upset today? Join us after a quick break to find out. You don't want to miss this.
Welcome back, everybody. We are ready to kickstart this second half of play. 10-5, to 5, currently in the way of Dignitas. And, of course, this is the SL1 Road to Rio. Tons of Counter-Strike being played globally in an effort to get to that rescheduled major. Now, what I'm hoping we can do here is get this pistol round underway, and perhaps if we're lucky, sooner rather than later, Bastion could shut off the X-Ray, and we're going to take a look at just how skillful it takes to play in this game. Yeah, this is a fast B play. We're going to get to see what exists, sees. And there you go. You see how little he gets to see. Freiburg now barreling in for his turn, and he's shot out of the round. But Forrest, Getright, and Halzerg, they've got to wait and try and retake this site in a oh. three on four. Krim's going to set up down beneath the window. The rest of Dig backing out. Maybe going to try and reroute through the tunnels, or maybe... Yeah, they're yeah. looking for a, a bit of a two-pronged attack here, but the time is starting to tick away. JW's onto it. The jig is up for Get Right, who tried to go through lower. He's still going to battle it out. A little bit of damage done on both sides, but it's not going to be enough. This bomb has ticked down ever so far. JW winning the duel in tunnels certainly helps to make a case for Fnatic winning a pistol here. A couple trades, but overall it does not matter. Fnatic pick it up and put a six one on the board. They are still down by four. I barely gauged who killed who in that one. Like, without <laughs> X-Ray, that is so hard. And that, is, <laughs> that is just how fast, you know, oh. the reactions are. And that's one of the things, you know, like, as, as observers watching this game, you know, we can't help but be biased to the few extra bits of... I say few, like, we get all the information, you know? Right. And even the outlines kind of hide, like, how hard a lot of these shots are to hit. You know, you might think they're a pretty small change in, like, the grand scheme, because it is just a little yellow or blue outline. But my word, does it actually make well, a hell of a difference and it, it makes a viewer uh, i would think respect and appreciate some of the shots that we see more over because i think sometimes people tune in and just watch this and think yeah. we're playing some sort of you know like astronauts fighting astronauts game people glowing through the wall maybe not astronauts fighting each other but you know space like wizards stuff. i mean yeah, that, yeah that's wizards why and pixies. that's why you know and that's another thing that, that doesn't it necessarily translates to someone who hasn't played this game. It's not a point and click simulator. It's not a game where movement doesn't, uh, you know, isn't held into account. You have to be standing still to be accurate. So there's just so many, like, you know, jiggling, ADing, going wide, like so many different ways to take fights. And, uh, you know, it's not as simple as just aiming at the enemy. You have to combine it with good movement. And you can see that's what Hauslick's doing here on the A site, jiggling, going in for picks with the scout. Let's find some damage. But won't find much more. Fnatic now setting up those cross smokes to commit. And how's like he is on his own here right now. There are players coming in through CT, but they are going to get smoked off. Ooh. Lands a shot on the Brolin. They're very low on this Fnatic side. And they're going to yeah. try to cross in. That Molotov going to the site is going to prove to be a little bit of a problem. Hall Zerk is stuck. And now just looking to land anything that'll stick. Oh. Get right, pushes through the smoke, gets two with a deagle, and that bodes well going forward. Forest in a 1v2. They're going to smoke off Catwalk, but I don't see that slowing the man down. Here comes the tree himself. Takes down Flusha. Now in a 1v1. JW oh. offering it up to him. 
and he grabs it. He's going to grab a round here for Dignitas, and that, my friends, is a good look. Wow. That was the anti-eco. That was supposed to be Fnatic's. This is their comeback, and Forrest has just laid that to rest. On top of that, we talk about how Fnatic have low HP players. It doesn't really matter. Forrest just comes in and digs them both down, shoots them in the face, double nade towards the spawn. That was great work from Get Right as well. And uh, you look at look at Forrest go here. Even like not the first shot, and that's more impressive than hitting the first shot because once you've whiffed it, your gun's going to get more inaccurate anyway. And Forrest, he does not care. He has brought the heat here. Maybe having a slower game for him, but in the round that matters, he steps up. JW drops Halzog in middle, shooting the dead body just to make it really obvious. Advantage for Fnatic in this round, but this round is already <laughs> a rough spot to be in with CZs in play. I love that they're even BMing from top mid. You know, you think that's, uh, <laughs> you think you're safe if you're Halzog? Nah, man. JW still shooting at the body. Or he was trying to shoot that rifle away. I mean, either way, still looks cool from our perspective. Double nades on the catwalk. Brolin's going to be there on the other end of it. It's not going to do any damage to him. And now Fnatic are going to back out, trying to split a little bit of mid control here with a little bit of an upper B presence. It's going to be Get Right that answers the call in the middle. And Forrest is going to have to hold oh. his own, hitting some ridiculous taps from the back of the platform. Good grief. Just crims. 1v3. Nets himself a pretty cool scout, but all things considered, even with the bomb in his hands, he's got his work cut out for him. Yeah, and this is, you know, this is Fnatic after losing that anti-eco, right? This is what they were left with. This is their best gun. <laughs> so not exactly a good situation to be in. And Dig, assuming they get 12 rounds here, they're going to go up 13-6 without... Ooh. Ooh, okay, maybe I'm speaking too soon. See ya. Maybe I am, because Crims, he's got not only a one-on-one -on -one that he wins, but the site for free. They're going to have to play retake here. Yeah, Freiburg got all that information, because Crims did not shy away from the fact that he's there. He knows that with this time he has, he has to clear out a little bit of the site before he goes for a plant. He gets it down. But now a little bit of a pincer here. Oh, he spots Freiburg, trying to take the peek. And oh. Freiburg holds the line, not going to miss that shot. And that's a key duel for Freiburg to win out, because if that goes one-on-one -on -one and Crims is given a moment, right, to regain some composure in the site after separating two 1v1s, then there's a chance that that can go awry for Dig. But Freiburg keeps it under control. Forrest with three. And a 12th round on the board for Dig. You bang on, Hugo. This is going to leave Fnatic with not much to work with in this round. They can invest in some pistols thanks to getting that bomb planted. But it should be a 13th round for Dig before all is said and done, and that buy comes in for the Fnatic squad. Yeah, Forrest, one of these, you know, really exciting up-and-coming Swedish players. Yeah. We haven't yeah. really <laughs> seen any play styles quite. I'm kidding. Forrest has been around, I think, Harry said, since the beginning of time, and no one can refute that. Moreover, the history books are going to note it, too. Dignitas, well in control currently, 12 to 6. And they have the rifles. Yeah, talking of the age as well, right? Like, um, from, uh, Dig, these guys are, if we look at the aggregate age, like average age across the team, these guys have the, obviously, unsurprisingly, pretty high one in comparison to the rest of the top 10. Theirs is 27.9. The next closest team uh, in the top 10 is Vitality. And I think yeah, they're at 25. I'll just double check. 24.5. So... So Boomer Esports. Boomer Esports, yeah. But, you know, like, it's, it's impressive that Digger doing this well when, you know, there's always that question that gets brought up, like, how long can you play this game? When do reaction timings fall off? And, and the answer to these questions, we don't know because there yeah. are still these players hanging around 20 years later and performing, you know, not not their peak, but performing excellently. And, I mean, the score is enough. 12-6, beating Fnatic, who certainly have some uh, young guns on their side. Halzok, though, a big weapon, and a big kill to find. Brolin going down on the site. He's going to back off to long. Give Fnatic A. This is very common on these decos to, to just let the Ds get control. Give them the plant and play retake. It's a safe way of doing it. And you have the round lead to give away the money. You're not worried about that if you're, about that if you're dig. So grouping up in a five on four and playing together. Limited utility is always a problem, though. How's that going to throw this cat molly that we've seen a hell of a lot? And with the bomb planted for catwalk, that's great because it keeps two of these players locked out of the retake momentarily. Mm. Golden has to answer for a hell of a lot as he's left in the site alone. 
and he gets shut down. Flusher wrapping in Ooh. through CT. Crims digs down another. This could still get out of hand. That bomb ticking away. They've got to get on it. Flusher trying to deny it, but Get Right holds the angle. And just about a 13th on the board for Dig up against the pistols. It still gets very, very close. And if you're Fnatic, you're kind of happy with that at the least because you're going to force rebuys across the board and keep yourself in this spot where you're one round win away from bringing Dig's economy down to its knees. And from then on in, you can look to make this comeback happen. So that's pretty important that they're able to get that pistol round so close, heading into this first investment over on the T side. And for Dig, they look at this. They're only three rounds for picking up the whole series. They've got a little bit to work with here in terms of a cushion, but they do not want to let Fnatic get back into this. There shall be no more knife casualties, according to Dig. Slow and steady wins a race. So Fnatic will hold off into this round. Slow default, taking that catwalk, making sure Tunnels is also covered. And a lot of pressure on B being put by Flusher as he throws all of his grenades into that site. We'll find nothing from it, but what that does often do is force out utility from the defensive side. Taking the don't have a lot though, so they'll be holding on to what they, they can here, which is no grenades inside of B. Get right has a nade and a flash in the doors, but other than that, it's not really gonna matter because Fnatic aren't going B anyway. Dig have leaned over towards that site. Right now the cat play is coming through. Halzerk, last Molotov in play, throws this out on Catwalk and a full back again. It's a similar situation to last, except this time Flush has run out mid and he's traded one for one. Halzerk's double scope and they oh, want to no. blow his shot. He misses it. How is he still alive? Golden will find him. Halzerk's two shots go to the wind and Freiburg has to give them the uh -oh. A site. Forrest can try and deny things, but the grenade is not good. It's for, not for Catwalk. It doesn't matter. Forrest and Freiburg clean it up in the retake and Dignitas are looking so crisp individually. Forrest has had a great CT side. Uh, Dignitas were on 14. That's something special right there. Even the double zoom, you think, okay, surely Hauser falls, the site falls, the bomb goes down, and it all kind of unravels for Dig. But that veteran C is not going to be letting up anytime soon. They hold, hold fast. They hold the line. Now just two rounds away from what I want to call just a flat-out, straight-up upset. Yeah. I, and, and that's the, the the thing that's so impressive is like now when you contextualize that first OT on train, you realize that that this A could have been closer and B, like Dig have kept this up throughout. And that is what is so impressive here. Going toe to toe with Fnatic, the best team in the world right now. And they might be about to run away with this series. Fnatic though, want to have a bit more to say before all is said and done. They get out towards long. They start to make their way over towards the A side of the map. Halzerg missed shot, and he's not going to get many more opportunities to connect these as they get up through the ramp. Get right, barrels through the Ooh. smoke, and that's a little too fast, a little too overzealous with Brolin lying in wait on the other side. For Exist and Forest, the only decision might be to save, and it's a bit of a shame because Brolin and Crims are both tagged up. However, you know, they're not going to be the guys looking for contact first, and Dig are never to know this. They back out of the round, they hold on to these AKs, and so Fnatic will salvage a seventh round on the board. Yeah, this Swedish party has delivered in spades. And now with a seventh round for Fnatic, we're going to see if they want to run it all the way back. We've gotten two games with overtimes thus far. And yes, that pushes us a little behind schedule, but that's okay. It's Charles Vitality after this. Uh, does Flusher see Forrest? I think he does. Yeah, he did. Oh, he saw the barrel sticking out. Yeah. I noticed on the minimap, he was just hard fixed on that cubby. And his hunch was perfect. Now, can the plucky Swedish underdogs of Fnatic rise up and beat NIP? Wait, hang on. No, it's not. <laughs> that's wrong not the narrative. Wrong, wrong year, actually. Wait, Wait no. Fnatic, best team in the world right now. Have to try and make this comeback happen versus Dig. And, well, they do get one on the way to it. Halzerk trying to take this fight down through mid. JW on the other side with an AWP. You don't envy Halzerk in that one. And so he's just going for a few chance wall bangs with the scout. Doesn't find anything from it. Flusher opens this round up with a kill onto Freiburg. An advantage taken. Damage done onto Halzerk oh. as well. The second time around, JW hits it. And... 
he often does. They'll send a few more through the doors after. They don't necessarily, this is BM, he'd say he's just trying to make sure that if they go to retrieve that scout, there's a chance he can just wall bang them. Forest is close in mid. Nice. Close that nade. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, that's oh, a classic yeah. nade to counter strike. Just clip the corners. He wanted nothing. to blow the AK towards him yeah. for anyone wondering. That should be pretty obvious, but nades don't work the way that you think they would. Look at all this information. Exist has pushed all the way around the back along A. He knows that it's full of T-sided players. Brolin laid out mid. It's going to cause a problem for Get Right. Either way, exists still on the fast flank. The last one left alive. Takes the shot onto Crims. Looks for the second one. It's JW with the op in the site. And he's going to be able to get that bomb plant. This nade should land decently. I say that doesn't do a single point of damage, of course. And now it's Richard on the ramp. He's got to battle both Brolin and JW. That flash is going to come out. And the swing from JW over in quad is going to give him the kill with the deagle. We're going to see another round for Fnatic. Yeah, big flash there because Exist had read that really well. You saw him looking at both positions. He was working it out. He realized the planter couldn't have run away to Cat. He didn't have time, and so he had to be Gandalf, and that was a Cat plant. So, you know, the rest is pretty clear to Exist. But not given a chance to make that one or two look interesting. So just out of curiosity, since we have a second or two, the yeah. Gandalf name, where did that come from? Does anyone know? The, I the think what, it's, sorry? I think Gandalf. in North America, we call it, we call it quad, right? Or, I, yeah, I, I mean, don't know where it's so, from. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's just because, you know, like you sit some there and, and you there. shall not pass kind of thing, right? Like, you know, you can hold that corner. Maybe it's got some ties into the whole I game. I you're reaching. Look, it, man, yeah. let's just call it quad. What do you guys think? Nah. No. Oh, okay. Well. I like Gandalf. Yeah. You know, deserved a bit more of a shout out, really. Um, yeah, shout out Gandalf if he's watching. <laughs> I, hope he's a big fan. I hope he's watching, man. I know he's a big fan of Counter Strike. Okay. Um, his favorite player is Hobbit. Um, nice. Well, on that note, we're going to bail out. <laughs> Hit the bail switch and see a Molotov get dropped in there. Hall Zerk wants to play around in it. Trying to roast some marshmallows, it would appear. Look at the nades. They're setting up nades towards tunnels from B, but the issue is Flasher is walking up mid right now, and no one's watching, no one's aware, no one's considering it. He has got potential 3K inside of this site. Oh, dear, they just spotted. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Got, got to burn him out. They got a little one in there. They got the Flusher one, and the Flusher radar's going off. Beep, beep, here he is. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. He's still tearing them apart. It's only the pistols, right? And there it is. Flusher shuts it down. Ninth on the board for Fnatic. They're trying to make this comeback happen now. Yeah. Dig. First time they've really been in the position where it's them leading in a very big way over towards map point. Usually they've been the ones to begin the comebacks. And I know that's been different within the relative kind of, you know, OTs that we've had. Back on overpass, it was them to reach it first in OT. But here, it's an entirely different ball game because this decides the series. And so that pressure could be a bit different now for Dig. This is a game that they would have to be the ones to fumble to let Fnatic get back in. Yeah, sometimes those last two rounds can be the hardest rounds around when you know Fnatic are trying their damnedest to keep this series going on. They do not want to lose this game because they want to go to Rio. And of course, the pride that stands alongside winning this match is huge for oh, these yeah. Swedish guys. So right now, they might not have a choice. Bomb's been dropped in B. Forrest with a grenade to make sure no one follows up. Fnatic might have to abandon this position, but they could get the grenade out before, you know, this smoke fades. But Dig have pushed ahead of it. And that's a really heads up play, holding onto the package, re-smoking things as well. Halzak's come from lower, and that's such a confident play to make when you have the bomb down, you have no need to force gunfights. And Halzak goes right behind Fnatic. They do not expect it. Crims, a clutch, a one on three, often been the pillar of consistency for this team and the man to look towards even when things aren't going right. Will that continue today? Yeah, Crims first going to look for Hauser, who's gone missing down in the lower tunnels. Crims. Clearing this portion of the map, and that there will kind of solidify this knowledge that they are just holding down the bomb. Now, the odds of him finding anything in this round very much relies on Dig dropping the ball a bit and giving him some 1v1 fights. And so the thing here is Forrest, or Freiburg rather, he's just tucked. He doesn't have to stand up. Forrest will be the first point of contact, and then a triple peak will come through. And yeah, that's exactly what happens. Halzak just beats them to the punchline. It's match and series point for Dig versus Fnatic. You heard that correctly, 15 to nine. Dig may be about to run away with this series with the newly crowned best in the world on the other side, Fnatic. 
Maybe about to have this one slip through the net. And what a story it would be, especially because it's been Get Right and Forest, two of the names that we've been looking mm. to to step up and make these rounds look like a possibility. Exist gets tagged on the cross, but Fnatic can't to know that. They do set up outside of the B site early on. And this is where that earlier damage onto Exist could prove paramount. Yeah, we've seen plenty of overtimes in the series thus far, so you cannot discount that going into what could be the last round. Dig sit on 15. Well, Fnatic, they sit on the B halls. Not out just yet. JW still spotting middle with his AWP. Now they're going to go for it. Four is good for one. And another frag to be had on Exist in the back of the platform. So this bomb, well, it's going to get planted. And you can already see Dignitas. They're going to save here. Yeah, I mean, you know, Dignitas finally getting what happened to them. So what they did often to Fnatic in the first half, which is these annoying B crunches. Pretty continual for Fnatic. And one thing that Dick have been doing well, right, on the CT side is, is you know, they've not necessarily been, like, out-aiming Fnatic, but they've been out-braining them. They've been playing really, really smart in often giving away bomb plants. Look at those four rounds Dig have won, all of them being retakes. Um, Dig often just peeling off long with the AWP on Halzerk, taking the long doors, giving Catwalk away, letting Fnatic plant A, and then retaking with an advantage. And that's been how a lot of these rounds have gone for Dig. And so that's put them in a very good position. So B, not the most retakeable, and Dig won't even consider it. They lose those two players and they instantly throw in the towel. And now a 15-10 comeback for Fnatic. We saw Dig come back from 15-10 on overpass, only to win it out in triple overtime. So... You'd be a fool to think that this series is over because Dignitas have 15 rounds. So let's see where Fnatic can take this one. Yeah, as I said, this series has taught us quite a bit. And we're learning more and more about Dignitas. And right now, Fnatic are learning a little bit more than they care to. Might even have a little homework on the outset of this one. They try to brute force their way out of long A. It's going to be a flurry of flashes. Everybody's blind from here and back again. Now a little bit of a waiting game. They do have a player in pit in the form of Brolin. He's going to try to creep up. Maybe someone will give him a cheeky headshot to just run away with. But he's going to get out of the pit. They're going to give up this position. And for all Dignitas knows, they're not in the B tunnels. They could certainly be out long. That's going to pose to be a little bit of a problem. Plusha finds the push from Exist. Richard is going to have to wait out another round and... Well, that gives Flusher the opportunity to try to recontain these halls, recontrol them. Oh, JW, though, he's going to extend things here. Now, there is a man to watch out for in middle still after that kill, but AWP firing off here has put Fnatic in a five on three. Reaction from Freiburg is to aggress Catwalk. Not a good timing to do so. Bomb drop doesn't want to hang around for too long. Forrest tries to help him out, but instead he will be taken down. Freiburg, how on earth is he alive? Dropping another man, yet Fnatic should just split B. They've got the information. They spotted both players, and they know exactly where Dig are contained. Bomb plant can be allowed, and uh -oh. Dig going to go for the boost here. Oh, Flash is spamming it. Not ready for the second player up top, but get right. One trade, and a one on two with Brolin cutting off middle. Yeah, he has no idea about Brolin. He's assuming that both these players are in the site. <gasps> oh, now he's wondering, well, where, where the heck dear. did I get shot from? I guess it was middle. Yeah. Oh, they're both so low, both on 16 HP as well. Oh, oh, it's it's not that so he knows that. Doable, but yeah, Get Right doesn't know, and so he just has to back away. And, you know, I, I think I think as well, he kind of realizes it. Like, there, there were two ways once learning Brolin was in mid that that could have gone down, right? Either Brolin, after missing that spray, get right, immediately turns and is able to find that fight, or he just hard commits B from the offset. Right. And so that kind of indecisiveness where he kind of weighed up his options and then looks back to here mid, and he hears Brolin running through the lower tunnels. He knows Brolin's already gotten away, right? So suddenly that B site does become a 1v2 again. And so get right just plays it safe, plays it by the numbers will allow Fnatic to put another round up on the board, edging us ever closer to another overtime in this series. Now just four between them and Dig.
Dig with no money left, going to be relying on Get Right to deliver Ooh. with this AWP in this round. He's got the long spawn, so he runs towards there early. However, Fnatic are not going to be found at long. It's an all-out B play. They know the money isn't there for Dig. They know that at the worst case scenario, right, even if there's a full-on stack at this B site, you're only going to be up against the pistols, and that doesn't happen, especially not with Jay, uh, sorry, Golden holding mid. He spotted that, you know, there wasn't just a bunch of dudes running across, so they felt pretty safe in all of that. What's that smell? Is, is someone <sighs> cooking overtime in the kitchen? Oh, someone burned the overtime again. <sighs> JW dropping a big old grenade, but unfortunately, for him at least, it's not good for any kills. They're gonna pull some fights here and spawn. Ooh. Try to recover some weapons. Fifteen to twelve. Fnatic keep the pressure on Dignitas. Golden, gotta be careful here. There's an AWP on the other side. But he's gonna get away. Actually, I say that. Smoke down, playing inside of it. Does have cover from Crimson, well, luckily enough. But Brolin's dead. That's a gun lost. Luckily for Fnatic, they're against 15. So money is but an object at this point. They can just continue to buy with no worry about you know running low. Maybe five auto snipers would be crossing the line. But other than that, they can pretty much go however they want. Fnatic. They like, uh, they like an auto sniper or two in T-spawn. There is a very heavy B spawn in this round as well for Fnatic, right? They have no one long side, so I imagine we're at least going to have to test the waters with a few players towards this B site, and they run the gauntlet down through mid as well. Dig might get blindsided by the pace of this. Brolin's oh, already no. out in mid. They're splitting B, and this has been telegraphed now. There's some level of understanding from Dig, but there's only so much they can do in response. They try and get through the mid smoke, and to their demise, Forrest does win a duel onto Brolin, and that's going to stop Fnatic in their tracks, because suddenly this B site yeah. isn't a guarantee anymore. Ooh. And there's another for Forrest. He drops Golden. Oh, man. Man advantage now in favor of Dig, in a round that was looking to be fast and ferocious from Fnatic. It's now slowed right right down as they sit in a three on four no control whatever they did have earlier on has been rescinded and they've now got to try and spread out to oh, retake dear. this map but that kill from crims onto halzer has opened up a world of opportunity once again they try and get up towards short and they've got freiburg trapped the a site has been gifted over on a silver platter to fanatic exist is flanking down through the lower tunnels freiburg up from ct has to do it all as he stands here alone he does Ooh. deal with jw leaving them uh -oh. in a two-on-two -two, and he just hides waiting for exist to join the fray exist can flash his teammate into a fight if he wants to it goes both ways utility on either side of dig as they set up for this retake but contact being made and damage traded in the favor of fanatic flash is bad it doesn't do a thing they dodge it flusher can fight ahead of it crims will join him Fiber jumping and into the waiting arms of flusher great round for fanatic and that's an example of when it, it's good to know when to slow down when to stop and i don't think get right it was ready for fanatic to pull the brakes there uh, why would you be when you see those fast mid to bees fanatic gets spotted by the cross there's halzak orping a site he's watching mid and he misses a shot fanatic go okay they know what we're doing they've seen this they're watching it from a so we probably shouldn't split b because the B players are ready for it. And so Fnatic turn around. And, and while doing so, Get Right dives through middle. And that gives a free kill, the advantage away at Fnatic, and they can just slow draw out the round off the, the back of that advantage. And that gives a very, very crucial tactical timeout to come in for Fnatic as well. And surely Dignitas can appreciate that. They can respect that as they sort of need to work on some things on their own end as well. Halzer on an AWP. They're gonna put some pistols beside it. Again, this is match point for Dig. They are sitting on series point, and we've already seen some overtimes. Will there be more? We're certainly working on it. A good case being made by, by Fnatic to give us just that. And especially for a guy like Flush, at 26 and 17 in regulation thus far, and only topped by Forrest at 27 and 18. Wow, the pistols in play, and the AWP on Hauser looking for a boost kill. Oh, he's got it. JW's gone down early. That's a massive frag for Dig. Now, this still shouldn't, I say shouldn't, be a round that they can convert with four players unarmed and four unarmored. But Dig have at least done the dirty work, taken the AWP out of the picture early on. Crimson's picked it up to try and respond. And 
Forrest is even pushed as well. Now, aggressing in an advantage is dangerous for Dig. Oh, but Forrest has found the perfect timing. He's also given away his position, so it doesn't last long. Crims is quick to trade right back with the Orb, and Fnatic needs to run a painfully slow round. They are just waiting for Dig to walk into their arms, and Dig are doing that and more, giving them kills. Golden eventually gets his gun back in his hands, but he should give away the B tunnels here for now, not wanting to lose that bomb to Dig, who've spotted it on that side of the map, but they also know it's rotating. And Dig gave a lot of emphasis and a lot of attention to B early on in this round they left a pretty much complete path wide open up catwalk that may come back to haunt them long a is completely open this a side is abandoned and now it looks like dig just want to flex on wherever the bomb gets planted flash out middle brolin is going to try to peek a little bit maybe he can find one for himself or take this awp out of the hands of exist they've gambled in this b side of things and well that chip stack's about to move on over to the fanatic side Yeah, I get right. The only guy who could have heard this gets shut down over here in mid. So for Exist and Freiburg, this will just be the save for Natic. It's taking us to a 14th. We're going the full 30 rounds as a bare minimum. Dig, they've got one more chance to close this series out here and now in this following round, or else we will be heading to another overtime, our fifth in this series. Craziness. At this point, I would feel upset if we don't get another OT, right? <laughs> like, if every other map has had it apart from the Decider, well, then the Decider was garbage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not entirely true. This like, has been a great match of Dust <laughs> yeah, 2. Dust know. 2 is usually uh, not a very fun map either. Well, hold on one second before we do jump in overtime. Of course, what? now just formalities at the end of this round. Wait, what? Yeah, that was just checking that myself. Over on what is the C stream, Movie Star Riders up 14. Three on overpass, oh. phase on T side. And that does not look like it's fun. Alex on 21 and 7. Lol, 14 and 11. Upsets all across the board today. Well, maybe. Also, maybe not. Because Dig, they've had a hell of a streak, a hell of a lead. And Fnatic have pulled quite the comeback on this T side. They have won eight out of the last nine rounds. Took me a second there, but quite the recovery from Fnatic. Is it all in vain though? Or is it gonna take us a little bit further as we look for the bonus rounds? We've had them in both maps so far. Three in overpass, one in train. Can only imagine for the streak to continue here. And it's another one of these very, very slow rounds from Fnatic. This is where Dig are likely not going to bother pushing, right? They don't want to be giving anything away. You've seen Fnatic moving into these slower holds. They've adjusted to the aggression that Dig have been pulling in. And so as a result, Dig are a lot more reserved in this round. As well as that, no one holding the catwalk leaves this as a major vulnerability. Halzerk's going to move back in. He's playing the crossroads. This gives him, you know, one shot's worth of engagement. And then he needs to start to think about falling back to join up with Freiburg. Yeah, they want to flash Halzerk off. Decent idea they have that he's holding this elbow angle towards catwalk from long. From the car, and he still is. However, the brunt of the Fnatic hit looks to want to look at middle. They're going to start to walk it on out. Smoke coming out for CT. Get right. He's about to have his hands full. It's a great gamble for Dig3 on the B-bomb site. No one's checking anything. They've got two advantages. Fnatic have been going B all half long, and Dig read into it in the most oh. important round of all. They can't even get the bomb back. Get right going in with a nade, and it's done. It's over. It's wow. out of here. Dignitas, 16-14 to 14 on the third.